today we're going to Ross Restaurant Labs to check out their toy section. See if we can find anything to review. Right, check it out, guys. We have Ross's toy section. Let's go ahead and get one of these. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Look at what I have here today. This is the Elite Forest M1A2 Battle Tank. Now, in case you were wondering how come I purchased this, I got it on sale at my local Raw Stress for less for $15.99. As you can see, it's marked down. Um, everybody else is selling it for like, looks like it's saying it's like 30 bucks. But actually, I checked on Toys R Us website. The original price for this was going for $49.99 and recently they marked it down to $29.98. So it was in line with the 30 bucks that Raw Stress for less is saying. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Initially, I wanted to take this down to the beach to review it and unbox it. But since the box is so big, I don't have a bag that really fits and it's really a hassle to bring such a huge item with me. So I'm, what I'm planning to do is unbox it and then bring it to the beach for a special video. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Um, supposedly, it makes this sound where it says boom. It says uh, fire target, fire engine sound. Let's go ahead and test that out. Try me. Say something. Pretty cool right there. So a couple of different sounds. Alright. Um, okay, let's take a look at the side and the back. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with any of the uh, figurines, so I'm going to have to substitute with my other toy reviews. And it looks like there is a glider and paratrooper, army ranger, air. Of, oh, this just shows different type of vehicles that they sell. Alright, let's go ahead and box this. You guys are super excited. I haven't done like an exclusive tour review in a while. And don't forget to check out my boat review. Um, I believe it's also the Elite Forces. And of course, the lucky winner won that one like last year, I believe. All right, here we go. I have to admit, it's quite a hassle with getting out of all these wires that it's connected to. Let's close it down. There we go. So these are actually called high explosive rounds. I thought there was a technical name, like a one word description, like torpedo. All right, it's finally out of the box. I have to admit, that took about longer than I expected. Let's go ahead and take an enclosed look at all the details of this tank. It's highly detailed and it is functional. It moves somewhat nicely, but maybe I needed to put it in sand, on sand or some type of uh, concrete for it to move better. Let's go ahead and take a zoom in. All right, here we go. Look at the highly detailed parts of this tank you got some of the weaponry right here this rotates um, it doesn't rotate 360 like is the tank supposed to rotate 360 I wonder all right you got some of these machine guns and of course we got oh so there are two different buttons right here for the forward gun and for the starting up the tank. Let's see. This tilts a little bit, something like 15 degrees. You got a Beastmaster right here, and these are just uh, cardboard cutouts of characters. Let's go ahead and remove these. 
So these hatches close, so you can put a character in there, but it doesn't look like it would fit a standing character. So you probably won't be able to close these. All right, the guns are rotates and tilts a little bit. Just like Call of Duty, this one doesn't really move. It doesn't really rotate, but it should. And I believe this one says I'll uh, remove the lock to play. This is supposed to close and open for the hatch inside. So you see it's got nice seating in here. A couple of seats. Let's see if we can remove this. There we go. Keep this for later. Like a mission, this closes. Like so. Check out the front end. The tank, it looks like this. And let's take a look at the side. It's number 222. Pretty much the same as the other side. Got an antenna right here. Some of the cargo area where you can put um, uh, gasoline, fuel, explosives. Probably not on the outside. Let's take a look at the back. None of these open up. And here is the rear side. Let's take a look at what the bottom view looks like. So make sure that's lined up with the wheelbase, otherwise it's not going to move properly. It doesn't stay attached, but you just have to line it up. Here is the top view. Very nice. Fortunately, indeed. I got a couple of these Marines from the True Heroes series. Let's see if they fit in here. Should they fit perfectly in here? Check it out, guys. Uh, GI Joes might be a. I don't know if GI Joes are the same size, but I guess they are. Fit perfectly. All right. Hey, it's time to take it to the beach and see how it runs. But one thing I noticed right off the bat is that this doesn't close all the way. See. I don't want to press it too hard because it might break. But it leaves a little gap. All right, and to insert the four shells, artillery shells. Put this as cargo storage in there. All the right, bag. check it out, guys. This is actually where you would store your high explosive rounds. You don't want to store it back here because people, would, enemy can shoot it and it would explode everything inside. So basically, open the closes. All right, here is how you would fire the artillery round. Line it up. And you want to keep one end right here. So just like that. Can't close the hatch all the way. And then you would press this button. Check it out. Here we go. Battle station's ready. Here we go. as much as it rotates it doesn't rotate along clockwise but it does rotate is counterclockwise almost 180 right there what's up guys so I'm at the beach let's see how this operates on a sandy surface Actually moves pretty good. Notice the tracks is moving. It's leading. See the awesome tracks that he left. Actually, it's getting to be stuck a little bit, probably with all the sand. So make sure you clean that out.
Captain, underwater recon is safe. I suggest we use our binoculars and see if it's safe to go on land. All right, let me use my binoculars. What kind of monster is that? Oh, I'm not sure, but it looks like an M1A2 Abrams tank. I can't make it out. It's a little bit fuzzy. Go ahead and send in the drone. Drone initiated. Contact. That is an A1A2 Abrams tank. Yo, I spotted a drone. Open fire. I spotted an enemy sentinel boat. Open fire. Direct hit. I'll be back to revenge my fallen Navy SEAL. <sighs> hey guys, so we hope you guys enjoyed that super exclusive footage that took a while to plot out and make. But hey, that's the best I can do without any special effects. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and give a grade to the um, Elite Force M1A2 Abrams tank, otherwise known as the Beastmaster, as you saw in action. It's got a lot of firepower and for the ridiculous price of $15.98. Make sure you buy it from Rolls Royce for less. Um, it's even better deal than Toys R Us on sale, all right? So a little bit about the Beastmaster. It's very functional. You can see all that firepower right there. It's gonna take anybody apart, including that uh, Elite Force boat right there. No match for it. It's no GI Joe. But one of the downside is this doesn't close all the way, so that's a couple points um, off. The cannon shoots pretty nicely, but if it's angled up, it has a hard time of getting out of here as a projectile. And also, it doesn't include any figurines, so you have to provide your own. So I had to take it from the, um, I believe, these two figures are from the um, True Heroes collection. So I had to use that for this tank. It's very functional. Uh, but the wheels, it's going to need plenty of cleaning, especially if you run out of sand, it might get stuck. But otherwise, it's very fun. So if you guys enjoy my video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and make sure you check out my True Heroes and also Elite Forest boat review. If it does, as well as my very first uh, True Heroes Sentinel 1 boat review, I must, I could even give away the tank and mail it to a lucky subscriber. So on a scale of 100%, I am going to go ahead and hook this. Beastmaster M1A2 Abrams tank with a spectacular 88%. Had it closed all the way, it would have been in the low 90s or maybe even mid 90s considering it's so cheap and it's very fun. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Take care of yourselves.